Hello everyone and welcome back to some more of Pelia Pines. So, first of all, look at my cute outfit. Doesn't that just look really, really cool? I didn't realize you could get outfits or ensembles. Like this is like one big uh, singular piece I commissioned from Morani. And doesn't it just look so good? I just want to mention that, I really love it. But you might notice I'm here in the desert for a reason. For a very special reason. It is not the Carno. It is not a Eupocephalus or a Uteraptor. It is a Ceratosaurus. Look at you! I was just saying recently about how much I would really like a Ceratosaurus. I found a peach one. Um, probably like in-game yesterday or very, very recently I found a peach at Ceratosaurus, which is a rare. And I was just talking on the stream about how like I really want one of these guys. I still haven't tamed one yet. And lo and behold, a Melanistic! Oh my god, I'm really happy! Another Melanistic! I'm sorry that I've not been capturing the reactions. Oh, whoops. I'm sorry I've not been capturing the reactions uh, live, like in the actual videos themselves. I, I do try to, I really do. But I also really love playing this game and I play it a lot in my own time. Especially as I was doing a lot of the bounty quests to try and get Orani's friendship up. And as a result of that, I just happened to find you. And it is so cool. Oh my god, I love his face. It's another melanistic. I love the melanistics. Oh my goodness. Probably should have bought an earthy meal because I am having a bit of a hard time reaching. Oh, never mind. It's in the light green, but I got good faith. Yes, I got it. <gasps> Look at you. Oh, it's so cool. My first Ceratosaurus. I don't have a name for this one. Um, I have a bit of a, a bit of a loose naming convention. I did not think of any for this one though. I just, I just wasn't expecting it. <gasps> God, look at you. Oh, I'm so happy. Okay. Anyway, so that's me obsessing away there. Meanwhile, on other things, I did manage to get a running friendship all the way back to maximum. So I now have every single NPC as my BFF, which is fantastic. And as soon as that happened, both Arani and Freya had quests available. It is night time, so I can't get Arani right now, but we can talk to Freya. So, oh, let's get a little bit closer. Hi, beautiful day today. You seem very happy. It is beautiful. You seem very happy. Uh, this is a bit close. <laughs> I'm glad you think so. Happy for another reason too. You know, Rani and I have been dating for a while, so I asked her to move in with me. She's been thinking she'd like to try setting down in a tree anyway. Is is this a tree? It's not really quite a tree. And I'd love to have her around more. I like her own company, but I like Rani even more. Archaeopelago can get a little lonely at times. I'm excited to share my home with someone. I'm so pleased, yeah. I need to do some work on my tree to make sure there's enough space for the both of us. Would you be able to help me? I need a lot of materials. I'd love to help. Thank you, Becca. I really appreciate your help. After all, we wouldn't even be together if it wasn't for you. I... This is familiar. Um, I did very recently find myself in this exact kind of situation with two of my best friends. And you know, you know who you are. <laughs> They're probably watching this video. And this is so wholesome. It's so sweet. Oh my god. I'm happy. I'm really happy for them. I'm happy for these two in game as well. So, oh, there we go. A tree for two. Uh, cloth. Ah! <laughs> I knew I should have started making cloth. I was just. That's another thing. Along with the Ceratosaurus during the live streams, I'd also mentioned I really gotta start doing more dye, I really gotta start getting cloth. There it is. I need 50 cloth, 50 blue cloth. That is probably going to take some time. So since it's just before sleeping time, what I will quickly do then is queue up all the blue dye now. So that should just net me, you know, a little bit extra before uh, the next day. That is the red one. The blue one is all the way back over here. Make blue dye. Yep, yeah, perfect. Good. And I can make, I think it's up to 25. Yep, yeah, 25. Cool. So, otherwise, I need so sandstone, planks, rope, and blue cloth. So, a lot from Arani and a fair bit from Milo. Okay, good. Arani is available today as well, which is perfect because I really want to see if she also had dialogue on top of. I need her to make the rope and a cloth for her to move into Freya's house with. <laughs> hey, Arani, do you mind just making your own furniture, please? As if my day couldn't get any better, it's you. What do you need? 
here's the 411 BFF, you're the cutest, coolest person I know. So it's only right to get my biggest discount I can offer on my clothes. Just promise to use it to make some snazzy outfits, sugar. Oh bless. Oh, so is that, uh, that is actually it. You know what? I forgot I could actually just buy things. Oh right, yeah, of course, the, uh, the cloth. Right, so, what do we actually need? So first of all, I need, oh, but it's only 10 blue cloth. Okay, good, I misremembered. So I need 50 rope and 10 blue cloth. So I might actually already be able to do that right now. So let's just quickly, custom order, blue cloth. I need, yeah, white cloth. Okay, makes sense. So I need, to, in fact, I could just buy that. Hold on, <laughs> bear with me. Yeah, go ahead and just buy 10 of those. Okay, good. And then I can talk to you again for a custom order. And I can just make that immediately. 10 days, oof. Fair enough, fair enough. And I also need the 50 rope, and I'm guessing that's too much in one go. Ooh, so far so good. Ooh, okay, 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 50. Can make up to 50. I don't have enough materials. I, I lack the fiber. It's fine, you know what? I, I can just buy more. I wish you could buy wood and stone as well you know what screw it why why can't you buy wood and stone i mean i could get wood from marlo and stone from freya have i just not noticed it this whole time that would really make sense hold on so custom order rope <laughs> just quickly go ahead and then queue all 50 and perfect okay good and that will take 10 days as well so basically their quest will be completed about roughly 10 days i need to get the 50 planks as well okay so while we wait for all of that you might have noticed i also have two of my velociraptors with me and that is because i gotta talk to avery and i hope this counts um mm, are they over here oh <gasps> Yes, I've been waiting for this. Okay, so all those pe that's a lot of pairs. Oh my god, give me all those pairs. So, I right. There's two different things happening right now. Basically, first of all, I need to bring the Blood Raptors to Avery, and I'm hoping it counts here because you can't bring Danos into the Pebble Plaza. But he's here now. But he's here with a Garmi. I've been waiting for this. It is finally time for these two. Uh -huh. So you would never let me do the voices well you weren't any good at them granny i perform for a living and where would you have got the inspiration for that if i hadn't if i hadn't read to you eh <laughs> <laughs> hey there kiddo here for a story sure when avery was a boy he used to love reading the stories here there was one time he was supposed to be looking after willem and squillem and all three of them snuck down here instead of tending the farm always a traveler what can i say of course i go looking for them and what do i find Myself, Willem and Squillum enacting the performance of a lifetime. They had the whole of Pebble Plaza gathered in here, doing tricks and all sorts. I think it started as a reading of the little trickster that got out of hand. I played the dashing yet lovable rogue, of course. And that was the first shenanigan. I suppose it was. And it never would have happened without you, Granny. Or Willem and Squillum, I suppose. You see what I had to raise, Becca? What a ruffian. <laughs> Still ain't nothing like family. Quite right. Which reminds me, didn't you have... Oh yes, Becca. I wanted to give you this, a pear sprout. No matter how far apart the branches grow, remember they come from the same trunk. And that trunk is always gonna be there to support them. Like you did with me and this library here. And the library is gonna support the whole community. May it blossom and grow for you, dear Becca, like our friendship. Ah, ooh. There it is, can I get a hand here? Help Granny realize that she can ask for help. Oh, that is really, really sweet. Travel enriches the mind, and there's so many dancers to find and befriend. And Agami? Is that a new hairstyle, or am I just getting forgetful? I mean, I do have a new outfit, so you're not far off. Oh, lovely! Fantastic! So that, is that part of the story finally finished. Thank you for all of you who told me, by the way. A few of you did tell me that uh, it is a bit of a waiting game. Oh, but that is a really sweet, wholesome ending. So, I'm quickly stepping in and out. Oh god, I, lo I love this little band of misfits. I'm quickly stepping in and out to see if I can trigger Avery, and no. So I guess it has to be the Archipelago. Let's just double check really quickly. Uh -huh. How goes my challenge? Charmed a Velociraptor with a flute yet? Y yeah, yes, I did. One in questions whether the stories of the flute exploits are wildly exaggerated. Not that I mind. I love a tall tale. Luck to you. I- wait. 
Yep, it's gonna be done in the archipelago. Fair enough. Well, I have 10 days to wait until my crafting orders are done, so I'm, just, I'm sure that by then I'll catch him over there. So I just quickly ran back to get all my forest wood. I've got about 800 in the end, so this I think is gonna cost 500, which is pricey. Especially because forest wood is very, very limited. Wait, or I just can't count. I'm glad. So 250 to make 50 planks. Okay, that's, that's a lot better than I thought. Uh, confirm. 10 days. All right then. And meanwhile... No, you can't buy wood. You should be able to buy wood from Marlow and stone from Freya. I'm very surprised that you can get fiber from Arani, but not the other resources. Well, either way, in any case, <laughs> this is going to be quite the wait. So either I'm gonna find a whole bunch of rares by then, or we're about to experience some massive time travel and a very big jump cut. Ooh, hello. Hello, hello, you seem very new. I, this is definitely a new color. I can't remember the name of this new color. I've not seen it before, but this is a new one. Yes, oh no, the old wax flower. Oh no, you're right. I've never seen a wax flower dino, like period, none. Okay, let's try again without it getting uh, woken up this time. <laughs> it is an ultra, really? Come on. I mean, I believe you, but I also want to see it. You know what it's like. Oh my god, wow! I'm getting so many recently. I only just got, um, I only just got, uh, oh, my Aranosaurus really recently, and my Melanistic Ceratosaur was on the 11th in game, I think. Oh, sweet! Oh no, Sephiroth's definitely getting replaced now. Okay, could, could you accept my offering of poppin? Okay, Dark Green, there you go. So now it's guaranteed. Dead in the middle. Five poppins, this little cheeky bugger took. Well then, Sephira has done me very well, but it is time to say goodbye. Farewell. Huzzah, Avery is finally in the archipelago and his explanation point just vanished. Oh, and reappeared. Okay, <laughs> I won't argue. So, how goes my challenge? Charmed the Velociraptor that flute yet? I sure have. There we go. My, my. You aren't one of my little guys, which means Becca has done it. You know, only my second Velociraptor team. <laughs> you were entranced by the music of the flute and a tasty treat or two, hmm? Tiny dinosaurs have the biggest hearts, wouldn't you agree? Oh, and I promised you a story. Once upon a time, there was a woman, a skilled musician, she traveled the country. And as she traveled, she played her flute for people on the road. Until one day, she noticed a small dinosaur following her. Have you guessed what kind? Yes, a Velociraptor. And soon it was not just one, but many tiny dinosaurs all in a line. Charmed by the music of the flute, it was not magic, you understand? Dinosaurs just really enjoy a good tune. And so the woman travelled, dancers came out from the villages to join her. She enlisted some fellow flute players, formed an orchestra and had a dance party with the dinosaurs. And from that day forward, flute bearers everywhere realised their natural affinity to dinosaurs. As time went by, the knowledge of what exact notes strike a chord had been somewhat lost. Until you, Becca. Here you are, befriending Wells Raptors and caring for them. Truly marvellous. I initially thought that he was making a story about us. Oh, I guess. <laughs> Did you just make that up? Um. See, I want to see what the dialogue says of Did you just make that up? But I also, like, I want to be nice and say, what a story. But I do... I, I want to see what the dialogue says. <laughs> oh, hold. The real question is, were you entertained? And that, dear Becca, is my gift. <laughs> He's adorable. Oh, that's it. Uh, let me see. Yeah, so that is the quest done then. Oh, that is really sweet. So it's the final day of the season, which means that tomorrow in game, I will be getting all the pieces I need for Freya and Orani to house upgrades. But also because it's the final day of the month, I'm going to quickly cook up all my food. And I might even be able to finish the last of my masteries, maybe? But first things first, let's just go and uh, convert all the watermelon because I want that sweet, sweet money. And 
And here goes the last of my recipe. Or the last of my watermelons, more like. My god, that is a lot of pandals. It is going to take me a while to sell all this, especially as I'm still also going through all my pineapples. Oh, I can't remember if I mentioned it. Um, but pineapples, they currently have no use. I've looked it up, I've asked people. Pineapples have no use, so they are something you can safely sell. It's a paleo pineapple. <laughs> I love that description. So, oof, that was uh, very expensive, especially in terms of wood. I have 20 wood left over. Really wish you could buy wood from Marlow. That would really make sense. Okay, so I don't think I will be finishing any masteries today. Uh, let's just check. So, things discovered. Uh, the soup is done. Bun. Buns a la fancy. Ooh! I can do that. Bans a la fancy requires one beetroot and 10 truffles and just a little bit of wood because I very nearly ran out entirely, but it's all I need to get that mastered. Yes, fantastic. And the uh, truffles are something that you cannot buy. You can only harvest them from the ground during uh, Cretemnus in the forest in Dapwood. So yes, that one's done. Let's see. Cake is done. Jam. Lemon jam. Oh, would you look at that? I even have three star jam. So that is going to be some tasty Avery's lemon chutney. Fantastic. Another recipe mastered. For pancakes, we've got nothing for pasta. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, corn. And... So here's a funny thing, actually. I've been getting this, res um, this recipe by accident. I have not once made this recipe. And I've nearly mastered it just by leveling other things. I think... I don't know what was giving me that recipe because I'm pretty sure I've never used it. You know what? Pasta la Triassi. I think that was the one that was causing me to freely level this one. But I could also just finish it now. So this one requires five tomato one garlic and one herb that will give us the pasta compsognis compsognis okay and there we go another one mastered rice is done and toast is done so there we go oh and double check one other thing so 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 8 out of 9 i'm missing a pasta 8 out of 8 14 out of 14 8 out of 8 5 out of 5 7 out of 7 I am missing a pasta and I have to finish at pasta a la Cretemnus. I had a stack of wood on the floor. Well, that's fantastic. It's, so, it's such a weird bug. I'm sure you've all experienced that at some point. Sometimes you will just randomly have like boxes of items on the floor next to your storage. I don't know what causes it, but I just got an entire stack of wood. This is fantastic because it turns out that the final recipe I need, or second final, if I can find my beetroot, I was just looking at it a moment ago. Where, where, where is my beetroot? All the way up there. So I'll grab a stack of that. I've got my garlic and I need my tamar bloom. With all of this, if I experiment with five tamar bloom, uh, one beetroot and five garlic, that'll yield me not plain pasta. No, not plain pasta. This is going to be a hard one. It's supposed to yield me pasta carnotora, but I think because of the garlic, or I'm not sure why, it's got a chance to give me plain pasta. Oh no, so this last one's gonna be a hard one, but thankfully I got all that extra wood. But the tamar bloom's gonna be a bit pricey. Ah, oh, plain pasta, hold on. <laughs> God. Okay, well I'm gonna spend some time doing this then. And as you can see here, the other recipe I'm lacking requires corn. I have no corn. But that does mean I'm very, very close to finishing this. But more importantly, more importantly, tomorrow in game, I get the rest of my work orders completed and we can move on. So we're just going to cut the cooking here. I'm going to finish it off. I'm going to cut it here. <laughs> and we'll carry on with the story. Oh, oh, oh. I, I just saved the game and I got the achievement. Master of the Pots. Ma master of the Pot, whatever it's called. Um, I missed it. Damn. You may have just seen it at the bottom there, like rapidly as I hit record. That was weird, but I haven't mastered everything. I'm missing an entire one. That's really odd. Hold on, let me just double check really quickly. So, pasta. Yeah, I've not... It's not mastered. But, there it is. I, I, got, I got the hardest achievement. Uh, no, it's not the hardest... Okay, it was the hardest achievement. 
Oh, there you go then. But I haven't mastered it. <laughs> All right, well, I guess that saves me getting the corn. Oh no, I have to get it though. That, that's gonna bug me. <laughs> okay, well, that's one achievement done. Um, and by the way, since we're back, uh, quick, quick little note of advice. Pastor Kanatorov, whenever you guys want to do your own Master of the Pot, um, don't do the recipe, give it more like eight garlic. Because uh, when it's five garlic, it will try and push you towards the other, uh, the plain pasta. If you give it eight garlic, it will ignore the plain pasta, but then it'll take into account the tambourine and beetroot and kind of steer it into the right direction. So you could RNG it for a cheaper price, but you'll end up costing more in the long run. Or you go ahead and just do it this way. Eight garlic, perfect, no less. The big day is finally here. My blue cloth, my rope, and my planks. Oh my goodness, all the criteria for a tree for two. And on top of that, I also require 180 sandstones. So two stacks, basically. Let's grab, well, I think I've got a few. <laughs> 1,200. Grab one, grab two, and that should be. Yeah, that is everything I need. It is time to get ourselves a treehouse upgrade. Well, not ourselves, time to get Freya and Arani a treehouse upgrade. Wouldn't it be so funny if today was a day that neither of them are actually... That's an albino. Hello. Oh, okay. I, I, I was really not ready for that. Cool, I will grab you in a moment. Um, I was gonna say, wouldn't it be funny if today was a day that neither Arani or Freya were available, but that's wrong though, because Freya's always at home at the very least, whereas Arani does go, you know, missing <laughs> every now and then. Oh my god, oh, albino Skelidosaurus right in front of me. Freya, did you bring the materials? I need to expand this tree. Expand away. I want to thank you properly, but my house is a mess at the moment. I'll stop by when it's finished. Oh, okay. Uh, and it'll be finished probably in a few days. That was a lot of waiting I did. <laughs> oh my god. All right. Well, that was very anticlimactic. So I suppose I will go get the resources to tame myself and albino Skelidosaurus. My god, that really was so funny. Like when I saw it, I really had to do a proper double take. I was seriously not prepared. You're the wrong one. I was seriously not prepared to find this of all things. Oh, this is great as well though, because this is another creature I just haven't gotten a single one of yet. Oh, there we go. And by the way, so for those wondering about the name, Skelidosaurus, I can't remember who it was, but one of you told me that the way to remember their name is a thing of a kaleidoscope. Kaleidoscope, Skelidosaurus. It's, it's similar-ish. Right, we'll go ahead and soothe you then. At least it helps me remember. And straight in the dark green. There we go. A friend with a juicy pop in. Oh my god, I was so unprepared for that. <laughs> it really took me by surprise. There we go. The Skelidosaurus trusts me. Oh, it's so cute. It's small. It's delicate. It's white. I'm actually thinking for this one, I want to call it Snowflake. It looks small and delicate. <laughs> I could just pick it up and cuddle it. Oh, fantastic. Wow. Excellent. Okay, well, while Freya takes her dear sweet time, which is very, you know, reasonable considering she wants to upgrade an entire house, <laughs> I'm just being salty because I was really keen on seeing how this goes. So I'll come back another time and I'll wrap up the episode here then. So thank you all so much for watching. As always, really hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you all again next time. Cheers.